Hello, Community Life Church. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for our service today. And those of you who are watching us online, you are most welcome. If it is your very first time to join us today, I'm so excited and thrilled that you took the time to join us. God bless you and thank you so much for coming. Now, uh, uh, we are going through our Easter series entitled Hope Over Fear. Jesus is the hope of this world. Now, I want you to know that uh, as we go through uh, all that we're going through, the chaos in the world, uh, this is not new. What is happening all over the world is not new. Uh, people are in panic. People are living in so much fear. Uh, people are responding from a fear perspective. And this is exactly what the devil would want us to do. This is exactly the way the devil would want us to respond. And this is not how we must respond as children of God. If you're writing notes this morning, uh, I want you to write point number one. This is not new. Uh, when you go through a tough situation and you know that it's not new, it gives you courage to know that the Lord will carry you through. I often uh, encourage students, especially those in candidate classes. Uh, one time a student was brought to me for encouragement because she was afraid of term three exams, senior six going into university. And I told her, look, you need to go back to school because many people, millions of uh, students have done, they have sat for the same exam that you're going to sit for and they have excelled. Go and sit for these exams. I encouraged her, prayed for her, and she went. And I am sure she excelled. Now, every time you know that it's not a new situation and other people have gone through it, it gives you the courage and the strength to know that if others have made it, you will also make it. And this is the message of hope that I am bringing to you today. That, you know, uh, God has carried us through situations and he's able to carry us through the situation also. So this is not new. And I will give you uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 9 says, 1 and verse 9, it says, What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. And there is nothing new under the sun. I'll say that one more time. And there is nothing new under the sun. So this coronavirus thing that you're hearing, this is not new. What has been will be. It has already been. Uh, in the 14th century, there was, uh, in Europe, there was a pandemic that broke out. And this uh, was called the Black Death or the Bubonic Plague. And this killed so many people. It is actually known as the most devastating plague that has ever happened. You can't even compare it to coronavirus. It killed between 75 million to 200 million people uh, in Europe, in Asia, and a slight bit of Africa. All right? This bubonic plague was uh, something that really wiped out people. That was in the 14th century. What has been or what is has already been. And there is nothing new under the sun. In the 16th century, there was another epidemic that broke out in Mexico. And this was characterized by high fever and people bleeding. High temperatures, exactly like what you see with coronavirus. High temperatures. And this was another epidemic that wiped out literally close to uh, 50 to 60 percent of Mexico. And uh, that was in the 16th century. So this goes to show you that scripture is true. There is nothing new under the sun. And uh, what, how, how do we get courage from this? We get courage from this because if the people in the 14th century were able to go through it, there are people that never died. If people in the 16th century were able to go this, and people, the people that never died, my friend, I'm here to give you a message of hope. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. I can give you a lot more information, but those two uh, examples will just give you that clear uh, um, example to show you that, you know, what has been or what is has already been. And there's nothing new under the sun. People are confused. 
People are dying, the rich, the poor, the important. But I want you to know this. There is no need to fear. If you're a child of God, there is no need to fear. No need to fear because, no need to lose hope because Jesus is the answer to everything. If you have a great relationship with God, there's no need to fear because we know that Christ will pull us through. In John chapter 16 and verse 33, Jesus said this, Do you now believe? Jesus replied, A time is coming and in fact has come when you will be scattered each to your own home. Isn't this exactly what is happening right now? A time is coming when each of you will be scattered into your own home and you will be locked down and you will, you will stay there. This is exactly what is happening. Countries are being locked down. People are being told to stay in their homes. But listen to what it says. You will leave me alone. And that's exactly what is happening. You will leave me alone. Some believers right now have even left Christ and they are trusting the safety and the comfort in their homes, not knowing that without Jesus Christ, there's no answer. There's no solution to this pandemic. He says, the scripture says, uh, you will leave me alone, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. And verse uh, 33 says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. The peace of God that passes all understanding is what guards our hearts as Christians. And the people out there, maybe you just came and joined us and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I want to let you know that Christ is the answer. He's the hope. He's the solution to whatever is happening right now. And God wants to bring his peace into your homes. God wants to bring his peace into your lives. God wants to bring peace in this uh, situation. But we have got to know that this is not new. And then he says, But take heart, I have overcome the world. Take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen and amen and amen. Take heart. Some versions say, be of good courage. I have overcome the world. And if Christ overcame the world and he lives in us, it means we are also overcomers. In fact, the scripture says we are more than conquerors. Child of God, I don't want you to fear. I don't want you to live in fear. A lot of things are happening. Social media information is coming along. The Bible says he has not given us a spirit of fear. But he has given us a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and a spirit of a sound mind. A spirit of power to exercise that authority that he has given to us. So, you may have peace, he says. I have told you these things that you may have peace. Take heart, I have overcome. And if he has overcome and he lives in us, we are also overcomers. In fact, the scripture says, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who infuses, who puts in a strength within us. So, point number one, this is not new. And if it's not new, how does that encourage us? Those who have been able to overcome, if people have been able to overcome, we also are overcomers. We will overcome in Jesus' name. Point number two, if this is not new and it is happening, then what must we do? Point number two, we must run to God. Not just now, but always. We must run to God because God is our source of strength. God is our source. He is our refuge. We must run to God. I was talking to somebody yesterday. I went to buy a few things from the, from the shop and uh, the shopkeeper told me this. He said, he says, you know, um, the people uh, must not just pray that God will take away the pandemic. The people must not just uh, do all these things that you know the government is saying yes they must do them but they must also change their hearts change the way they are living and part of changing the way we are living is let's run to god so point number two run to god and i want to read you a very powerful psalm and this is from psalm uh, 46 psalm 46 i'm going to try and read the entire chapter psalm 46 it says verse one god is our refuge and strength in this moment, when, you know, people are scared, who must we run to? We must run to God because he's our refuge 
and in him we find strength many people are trusting in the moment like this you can't trust your money in a moment like this you can't trust what you have but in the moment like this the only person that we can run to is God so God is our refuge in him we can find protection in him we find peace in him we find you know a joy and strength so God is our refuge and strength and then the scripture says always ready to help in time of trouble isn't that powerful God is always ready to help us in time of trouble in the midst of all the trouble that's happening right now God is ready to help us if we only can run to him he will help us you know I'm just thinking of a, a picture right now of a child that is being troubled out there and the child knows that you know if I run to my father I will be protected many times when my youngest son is in trouble when he's uh, you know being disturbed he will always run to me because he knows when he comes he will be safe this is the same thing that must happen to us as children of God whether you are 70 or 80 or 90 you're a child of God run to God in a moment like this as we run to God he will be able uh, to uh, help us because the scripture has said he is always ready to help in time of trouble verse 2 says so we will not fear when the earthquakes come uh, and the mountains uh, crumble into the sea because God is our help we will not fear we will not fear we will not fear when the earthquakes come we will not fear when the mountains come we will not fear when the diseases come when COVID comes I mean people you know say all sorts of things people send messages people are sending me messages and they're telling me also and I'm telling them my friends this is not the time to fear we will not fear because the scripture says and then verse 3 says let the oceans roar and foam let the oceans roar let the mountains tremble as the waters surge a river brings joy to the city of our God the sacred home of the Most High God dwells in that city it cannot be destroyed what you know he's talking about the city there the the the, the mountains could be trembling the waters could be you know in raw all things there might there might be chaos going on all around us but you know God dwells Christ dwells in our hearts and if Christ dwells in our hearts I want to tell you something there's protection for us now and the scripture says from the very break of the day God will protect that city from the very day from the very break from the very uh, time that the day opens whether it's day or night God will protect that city my friends I bring you a message of hope God is going to protect your home God is gonna protect your businesses yes many people are losing money right now but God is gonna protect your finances in Jesus name that whatever is happening will not get close to you why because your trust is in the Lord and then verse 6 says the nations are in chaos this is the scripture the nations are in chaos all over the world I mean if you go to all sorts of countries go to the US go to Italy go to France come here in Africa Uganda Rwanda Kenya Tanzania go to Ethiopia the nations are in chaos the scripture is very true the nations are in chaos and their kingdoms crumble God's voice thunders and the earth melts verse 7 the Lord of of heavens the army the armies the Lord of heavens armies is here among us in fact some some scripture says the Lord of heavens the commander of the armies is here among us the God of Israel is our fortress verse 8 come see the glorious works of the Lord and I'll tell you something my friends uh, in just a few uh, moments from today we will be able to say come and see what the Lord has done point number one I said this is not new but point number two I said let's run to God and as we run to God we're gonna see all these things happening he says this see how he brings destructions upon the world he causes wars to end throughout the earth he breaks the bow and snaps the spear 
he burns the shields with fire be still and know that i am god be still this reminds me of that song that says be still and know that i am god be still and know that i am god be still and know that i am god i am the god who healeth thee i am the lord that healeth thee i am the lord that healeth thee be still and know that he is god let me tell you something my friend when you keep running up and down and panicking it is a sign to show that your faith and confidence is not in god he says in verse 18 19 no verse 10 actually verse 10 he says be still and know that i am god he says i will be honored by every nation i will be honored by every nation that's so powerful the other day i saw a post uh, coming from the president of france and he said we have tried everything we have done everything and he said we have come to the end of our knowledge and he said our only hope is in god that was the president of france he said our only hope is in god because we have tried everything doesn't that sound familiar to you the woman with the issue of blood she tried everything went to all sorts of doctors and then finally after spending all the money she had she came to jesus and jesus had mercy upon her my friends i don't want us to waste time from the very word go let's run to god and then he says again i will be honored by every nation i i was privileged to and very excited to uh read a quote from the president of tanzania his excellency uh pombe magufuli and this is what he said he said we will not shut down churches because the solution to this is in the house of god and exactly that's what it is i mean if not god then who is going to save us I thank you that you can be gathered here today to listen to me. I thank you that you can listen to me from wherever you are in your homes. I thank you that you can listen uh, to me or those of you who are following us online. I want to tell you something. As you do this, you're saying Jesus is the only one who can take us through this. So I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. The Lord of heavens, the commanders of the army is here among us the god of israel the god of israel i want you to know that despite what is happening god is with us so point number one this is not new many people have gone through it i gave you the example of the bubonic plague that happened in europe and wiped out more than 50 percent of their population and, I, and then I gave you the, another example of the, uh, 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 the plague that happened in Mexico in the 16th century. That's not very far away from where we are now. And God has been able to carry them through. If God was able to carry them through, he's able to carry you through. This is my message of hope to you. This is not the time to fear. Don't listen to those voices who are, which are bringing and creating fear in you. Listen to the message of hope. Whose report will you believe? This is the time for you to believe in the report of the Lord. I am the God. I will heal you. I will heal you. I will heal you. I will heal you. I really feel um, encouraged today. And I want to thank you very much, Community Life Church. I want to thank you that uh, we can be able to tell how many of you are following us in this uh, disastrous situation in this chaotic moment many of you are following us many of you are following us online and many of you are praying in your homes we're grateful we have gotten very good report keep up that because the bible says for i sold for a man who would stand in the gap let community life church be known as a church that will always stand in the gap stand in the gap my friend and let's believe that god will continue to help us so as I conclude today, this is not new. If God has been able to carry people through, he will carry us through. Number two, let's keep running to God. Let's keep running to God. 
I want to pray for you today. And I also want to remember our friends all over the world that have been affected by this plague. I have friends of mine in the U.S., uh, friends of mine in all sorts, in all parts of the world that have been affected, friends of mine in, in, in many African countries that have been affected. And we want to pray for those people. And even those that we don't know, we want to pray for them today. Uh, the other day I was uh, watching the news and they were saying that uh, uh, airlines are shutting down. Emirates is shutting down or has shut down. Uh, Delta Airlines has literally gone down. People are losing jobs. Um, in the hotel industry, people are losing jobs. I want us to join with them and pray for them. We who have the courage, we who know that we will not be affected by this, we must pray for our brothers and sisters. We must uplift them. So we're going to pray for them right now. I want to pray for the people who are in business. I want to pray for people who are in schools. I want to pray for people who are you know, uh, being affected in one way or another, those who have lost their loved ones. But above all, I also want to pray for those of us who are here today and have not been affected by anything. I want to pray for you today. And so as you close your eyes, everybody just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. And uh, let's pray right now. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name. We thank you so much for your faithfulness. You are a good God. You are amazing. You are amazing. We love you. And we adore you. You are the answer to everything. You are the answer to the chaos that keeps happening. We draw close to you. Father, I want to thank you. Before I do this, if you're in this place and you're not born again, and you're saying you would like to give your life to Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. I've done many things wrong. I come to you today. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my life and come in to stay from this day onwards. Be the Lord of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. If you have said that prayer, you have just given your life to Christ. Please make sure that you see your EC leader today and they will help you to uh, uh, grow in this relationship that you have just begun with our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to help you. And I want you to know that you are a part of a very big family of Community Life Church. And in a few weeks from now, we'll all be able to gather together and celebrate his goodness. Now, I want to pray for those of you who are struggling with fear. Those of you who think you're going to be affected. I want to pray for your families. I want to pray for your businesses. I want to pray for the students. This, I'm saying this again. The candidates of this year are going to excel. They will perform better than they have ever performed. Because God is faithful. He has always been faithful and he will be faithful. So let me pray for you right now. Close your eyes and bow your heads. I want to pray a prayer of protection right now. I decree and declare protection right now upon your lives and upon your families in the name of Jesus. You will not be affected by this pandemic in the mighty name of Jesus. We bring COVID-19 under the feet of Jesus Christ. The blood that was shed many years ago is able to defeat COVID-19. It's able to defeat what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak life into your lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak hope and courage right now. I speak success in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak that you will arise. Your souls will be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus. Your businesses will not be touched by the enemy right now. Your finances shall not be touched by the enemy right now. And those of you who are students, you may be out of school, but I decree and declare that this year you are going to excel more than ever before. The candidates of this year shall excel in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak life in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak life in your homes right now. I speak protection upon your children right now. I speak protection upon everything that you own and everything that you have in the mighty name of Jesus. 
for everything that our hands will find to do in the season and the seasons to come there shall be fruit in jesus mighty name and i also speak increase in every aspect of life upon community life church i speak increase in the mighty name of jesus many will come to the saving knowledge of jesus christ in this season hallelujah 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 the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face shine on you the lord i just fell in my spirit that many of you are going to come out of this season with amazing testimonies amen with amazing testimonies amen with amazing testimonies amen the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face shine on you the lord be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance on you may you find yourselves acceptable in his sight and the peace of god that passes all understanding guard your hearts now and forevermore amen and amen and amen amen well before we leave today i do want to remind you that uh god is in control amen you can uh, 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 also continue to give even if you are not able to come you can continue to give and there are three ways that you can give to what is happening and uh, there are three ways number one there will be a mobile money number showing on your screen please uh, write that number down and you can send in your tithe and offerings uh, to that number please put your name there uh, tell us what that is for if it's for property uh, if it's for uh, tithe and offerings, please let us know what it is for and then we'll be able to it will be able to go in the rightful place. That's the mobile money number on your screen. You can also uh, place a standing order and that can go straight from your bank to our bank, Bank of Africa. The account number is also on your screen. I encourage you not to give that to anybody. Until next time, my friend, uh, see you in your ECs. And I'm looking forward uh, to continue to hear in the testimonies that are coming. God bless you and you have a victorious week.